Hi, Facebook friends. Hey, it's Wednesday morning and we are here at Wellness Wednesday with me, Nancy Ruby, where together we will explore the skills and practices for living vibrant, easeful lives. And today's topic is what does glyphosate have to do with my gut? Now, I've been pouring over materials today and actually for the past year, um, even though I knew a little bit more about what the heck is glyphosate. And I'd be really curious to know, I've been taking this poll lately about who knows what glyphosate is and how it affects our health. So I'd love to hear from you. Do you know what glyphosate is? And glyphosate is the chemical that is present in much of our food source and being sprayed in much of our environment. It's a weed killer and it's found in our Roundup Ready crops and it's something that is affecting the health of our society today. And unfortunately, people don't know much about it. Good morning, Raina. Always great to have you here. So today, and I know Raina knows about this because we've been involved with a group of nutritionists and healthcare providers that are really working to help to um, educate people about this. And I've been waiting to talk about it because I really want to get the, the correct verbiage out on how to explain this process of what is in this chemical that's affecting our health and I decided today I'm just going to present it a little bit it's going to be I've decided wellness Wednesdays are going to be more about 15 minutes long because I know that people are busy but I'll tell you um, this opportunity to understand the health of your gut is something that's at the forefront of my mind and so I have a few um, what would I say I have a whole library full of resources. So I'm going to recommend these to you and I'll put them at the end in the notes. So um, I had the opportunity of meeting Jeffrey Smith last year and he put out this whole program on healing from GMOs and Roundup. So just to, to clue you in, the term glyphosate or the chemical glyphosate is what we find in our Roundup Ready crops. It's what's in the GMO process of making our plants um, stand up to the poisons that are spread on them to kill the weeds. So I'll tell you, this is something that does not work in our precious human bodies. This is how I look at it. This is the layman's explanation. So first of all, you have a gut, right? And your gut is your intestines where your food goes through, where it's supposed to move into your body. And then through that intestinal wall, it's supposed to move out into your bloodstream. So all your nutrients are absorbed and can help you build health and well-being, right? So it helps the building blocks of our structure. And then what happens is when we have these chemicals in our system, we have this flora within our gut. It's called the biome. And I like to think of it, visualize, if you will, a beautiful green lawn. Okay. It's all smooth. It's all green. There's no weeds. Now that might be part of the problem right there. <laughs> there might be some chemicals on there to kill the weeds. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But just imagine a beautiful green lawn. And then imagine that some dogs come by and they do what dogs do. They pee on the lawn. And then all of a sudden you have this green lawn, which is all the little leaves of the grass coming up. And now you've got these yellow spots in the lawn. And so you've got these areas where it's just killed the lawn. Well, basically that's what glyphosate does to our gut. So within our gut, we have these little cilia, these little tendrils that come out and they're meant to grab the nutrients from the food that's passing through. And what happens when we get these chemicals in our system is those nutrients, those, those little cilia start to dry up, close up, get, get damaged so that it can no longer absorb the food. And then worst case scenario, it starts to actually damage the whole wall. And so the things that come about are, are illnesses that we're seeing 
skyrocket since the use. So I'm going to read some out of this book, The Toxin That Came to Dinner, which is written by Dave Sandoval. Um, and I know him personally. He's a wonderful scientist. He's been developing nutritional products for the last 25 or 30 years. He's extremely passionate about helping us to end human suffering by feeding people well. And I am on that bandwagon. So I hope if you're listening, you can really take into account, like, what are you putting into your precious human body? And how well is it developing the tissues that keep you living a very strong and active life. So I like to think of food as medicine. And what's happening now is much of our food is actually damaging our own system. And it's sad but true. And I am a solutionist, so I don't want to harp on the things that are damaging us. I really want to talk about how we can heal that damage. But I do want to introduce you to some information. So According to timeline charts um, created by the Journal of Organic Systems Study, there's a direct and alarming correlation over the past 20 years between the rise of the use of glyphosate and major disease rise in the USA. So glyphosate usage and disease rise. The most direct correlations between the increased use of glyphosate on crops and the increased incidence of health issues are as follows and then there's a whole litany of diseases that follow and i'll just let you know it's all has to do with damaging our immune system so according to um there's also this incidence and prevalence of chronic diseases that have been reported in the u.s over the last 20 years and also globally now many countries have outlawed the use of glyphosate the state of California is now outlawing the use of glyphosate in different counties. They haven't done it statewide, but there's different counties that are outlawing it. And Costco, which is a pretty major distributor, is now banning Roundup from their shelves. So I know this is going to take a long time, unfortunately, for this type of chemical to cease and desist from our environment, but this is similar to what we learned about DDT back in the ages. So there's a woman that um, spoke up against this. Let's see, I had that information and now I can't find it. Um, you know, the things we don't know, we learn and then it takes a while to shift away from something that's become very convenient. Yes, Roundup kills weeds, we know that, but it's also killing our own gut. So I look back that we thought smoking was okay. I grew up in the area of smoking, of having cigarette commercials and people smoking was the thing to do. They didn't think it was damaging. And guess what? We found out it was. And the same thing with DDT. If you've ever seen the pictures of, of the DDT, of the trucks going through the neighborhoods and spraying that orange spray all over the neighborhoods to kill the weeds and kids like running through the clouds of, of powder that they were spraying, thinking nothing of it. And then guess what? They found out that was extremely harmful to our system. So in this day and age, the poison that we need to be aware of is called glyphosate. And I want you to be aware of it because it's in 75% of our food sources in a grocery store. So this is one reason why you really want to vote with your daughter dollars and support the organic food industry. And even though I choose to buy organic as often as possible, I can't always get it. And unfortunately, we found that even though we can get organic food, sometimes that organic food is tainted because it's so prevalent in our environment that it's everywhere. And there's also a lot that's been found in our parks and our schools because they're using these chemicals to get rid of weeds in our, in our playgrounds. And unfortunately, if you talk to any veterinarian, the increase and rise in animal health has, our animal disease has increased with tumors and cancer and these, immuno, uh, these immunization, wait, immunology problems, I think that's the word. <laughs> immune system defects is on the rise for our poor animals and there's I've been watching all kinds of movies I've got an incredible one let's see if I have the cover here it's called 
I'll put all these on there. It's called Genetic Roulette, and it shows a lot of the research from scientists and physicians and farmers that are really finding the effects not only in people but in the animals that they're raising, in the livestock that are eating these Roundup Ready foods. They're eating the grains that were sprayed. And so I just want you to be aware of this, and a lot of people don't know that it's even out there. So I want you to be aware that we need to learn more about this chemical called glyphosate and what we can do to eliminate it from our environment, which is going to take time. And first and foremost, what we can do is eliminate it from our own body. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, we need to clean up our gut. Okay, so if you have any digestive problems, any autoimmune deficiencies, any achiness in your joints. Now, I know for myself, I was actually five years ago pre-diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. It was just a guess because I was having joint pain all over my body, and I did not want to have that diagnosis. So I did some more research and I realized that my body needed to be cleansed and neutrified more than I was. And I was already probably in comparison to the way that a lot of people eat, eating very healthfully. But I wasn't being as adamant about what I put in my body as I am today. And it made a huge difference. No more joint pain. I have great energy. I feel better than ever. And at 61 years old, that's saying a lot. So one thing I can recommend is this book called The Prime by Colreet Chowdhury. Again, I'll write this down. And Colreet's story is she is um, an integrative neurologist down in San Diego, California. And she was, had a very successful practice. And she herself, being very successful, also had a lot of stress in her life and discovered or and came down with migraines so she started developing migraines and so of course what she did is she started to take the pharma the um the medicine that she was giving to all of her neuro neurology patients okay which was pharmaceuticals and she took these drugs and she discovered that they made her feel terrible. They took away the migraines, but there were also other side effects that that really depleted her health. So she went back to her roots. Kulreet is originally from India. Her grandparents grew up uh, teaching about Ayurveda, which is life science, and it's really the healthcare system of India. And it has to do with being in touch with nature and getting in rhythm with nature. And so it starts with really looking at our rhythms throughout the 24-hour clock and also what are we putting into our body, food as medicine. So what Corrine found is that she cleaned up her diet, she cleaned up her gut, and she really studied the gut-brain connection. Now this is prevalent in our healthcare system today, how important our gut is, known as our second brain. And personally, you may have heard me say, I think it's more like our first brain. It's where our intuition is, it's our gut sense. And if our gut is not healthy, our brain is foggy. So if you're dealing with brain fog, not clear in your mind, feeling scattered, feeling, then you got to clean up your gut. It's not really what you do up here. It's what you do down here. And so she went back into her Ayurvedic roots, looked at cleaning up her gut, and she herself healed her migraines, got off the, pharm the uh, pharmaceuticals, and then looked across the board at all of her neurological patients and saw that there was this common thing that they all had digestive problems. So she started cleaning up their guts with simple steps of helping to heal that mic that biome within the within the gut system we call microbiome and by healing that the body was better better able to absorb what was being given to it and also getting in rhythm so we're eating on a regular basis and allowing our body to rest in between meals. So I teach a lot of this in another course, but today I just want you to realize that what Colreet found, and now she's really speaking on a lot, is how important our gut health is, and we've got to clean it up. So if you're feeling any lack of health in your life, if you're feeling a lack of energy, if you have joint pain, if you have 
um, a difficulty waking up in the morning, if your sleep is impaired, if you're feeling depression or anxiety, all of these symptoms can be a huge sign pointing to your gut health. So be aware of what you're eating. So the other solution, so become educated, and I will put more information out for you. I want to be a resource for you. And as I learn more and more about how to articulate this more clearly, then I will continue to educate as much as I can. So the solution to this is one, buy organic as much as possible. And you know, a lot of people say, oh, it's so much more expensive. But I'll tell you, folks, the more you invest in, in, in the food that will feed your body, the less you're going to invest in medical care in the future. And that is just a direct correlation. So invest in yourself by investing in healthy food that's good for you. Also invest in understanding how to eat. There are certain ways how to eat, when to eat, and why to eat. And then you can go to what. Okay, so I do a lot of I take a lot of people through the formula of how to find rhythm in the way that you're nutrifying your body on the cellular level. If you want to know more about that, please just drop me a note because I am here to help. I really do believe in the, the empowerment that we have to take care of our health and well-being by making wise choices. So what we have as a solution also, okay, I talked about it, buy organic, eat healthy, get rid of the junk shop fresh fruits and vegetables, add in a few organic grains. Grains are a big carry. You know, the number one cereal that has the highest amount of glyphosate in it is Cheerios. So how many of our children are eating Cheerios as a snack? So honey, that's just like giving a big spoonful of chemicals to your child. And this has got to stop because we are not a healthy nation we know that we're over fat we're underfed nutritional quality food and as much as people don't like to hear this and even if you're listening you're like i don't want to hear that why do we not want to hear that because we don't want like to change our ways we don't want to hear that there's a problem but there is and so you know i've been kind of shy about speaking to this directly and i need to get over that because i also passionate feel passionate about helping people live well and about decreasing the amount of disease that is has a solution so we need to clean up our act and we can do this one belly at a time and i hope that you'll be open to learning more and i will speak more on this as the days go by i'll add information i'll give you some resources so you can read yourself because you don't just take it from me there is a lot of information out here pointing in the direction of our need to clean up our environment, right? Uh, so, but please know about glyphosate. And I wanted to read you something else here from Dave's book is um, how this comes about. Oh, the other solution. So we do have, it's called micro, oops, it's called biomedic. So I do biomedic every day. So what Dave Sandoval did after learning all about glyphosate is he created this, this product that helps to pull the glyphosate out of our gut. So that glyphosate gets in our gut and because it's chemical, we can't do anything with it and it helps, it starts to destroy that microbiome. And so what we need to do, one, First thing would be to get rid of the problem in the first place, but that's going to take a while because we got lots of big companies <clears throat> telling us that there's no problem with this chemical, right? Just like the tobacco industry. And it's funny, the, the people that are doing the um, research on, if on the, the effects of glyphosate on our gut are the companies that are using Roundup. Okay, so... Monsanto has lost several lawsuits lately, and there's thousands of them on the board proving that glyphosate causes cancer. Okay, folks? So they're also coming out with research saying, oh, no, there's not a problem. So what's going on there? They're losing court cases, and they're also still saying there's not a problem. So that's, that's a juxtaposition that we need to get through. So let's take a look at what we can do to clean up our gut. And so I do want to share with you this product that I totally believe in because it helps to pull the glyphosate. It's a prebiotic, 
a probiotic, and then it helps to pull the glyphosate out of our gut. How does that happen? It has four ingredients in it. And so fulvic acid is one of them. And that helps to, what's really interesting is in farming, those of you that farm and garden know that fulvic acid helps to move minerals from the soil into the roots of plants. So it opens up those little roots so that the plant can absorb that healthy nutrition, right? So this other um, system, it says here by... Um, this quote by Dr. Axe. I'm not sure who he is because I'm not reading the whole thing. I have read it, but I just want to be quick today. Is fulvic acid and other humic acids contain a plethora of nutrients that improve gut health. So all these trace minerals and electrolytes and fatty acids and prebiotics and probiotics, we need these in our gut. And these help nourish our digestive tract and boost our ability for the good bacteria to repopulate. So we need this really good bacteria in our body so that we have what's called a healthy microbiome. We need a strong digestive system to build our immunity to help control hormone production. So if you're having any hormone problems, let's look to the gut. Regulate our appetite. So what I found is as people clean up their gut, their cravings, their unhealthy cravings dissipate. And this has been a huge relief to so many people that I've worked with and even myself, like no more snacking, no more cravings, because when your gut can absorb the nutrients that you give to it, you're satisfied on a cellular level and you no longer have those cravings. And so much of our food that's made of chemicals, junk food and food that has a lot of preservatives and, and, uh, non-food items in them, they actually create an interference between the communication of our gut and our brain. And it actually creates, and this is where you want to read Colreet's book, The Prime, because she explains it so well, what happens. It's not about willpower when you have unhealthy cravings. It's really you need to change your body on a physiological level because your brain is telling you you need these certain fats, you need this, this sugar and the salt and this junk that's going to feed it because it helps to release those hormones that your body loves, your dopamine and your serotonin and your melatonin. But we don't need it in that way that is also damaging us on the other end. So I want you to really consider reading this book and listen to this. So we want to also put into our body these components of fulvic acid, which is going to help our body build, okay? lactobacillus bacteria so a lot of us know about prebiotics and probiotics but are you taking them are you putting them into your body right and that helps build the friendly bacteria and that helps bind toxins and pull them out of your body we need to do that get them into your bloodstream and out of your body and then the next ingredient that we have in this biomedic which has been found um, to be really helpful in reducing within six weeks, 75% of the glyphosate out of your gut. So it's called digestive wheat germ extract, and it is gluten-free. It does have wheat, but it's gluten-free because it's on a, such a small level of ingredients. And what happens is it goes into the body and it helps to um, it's protecting and nourishing existing bacteria that's key to the GI tract, right? And then it helps that system pull these, um, these toxins out. And so we focus on our digestive system, and this helps this, this highly effective prebiotic, right, that contains biologically active compounds that help to pull this stuff out of our system, get it into the bloodstream and out of our body. So it's super important that we do something now because we're finding that the this glyphosate in our gut is what's really increased the rate. And I have chart upon chart upon chart. There's so many charts that I have in my, in my library that show the increase of disease with this increase of, of glyphosate in our food system. That to me, it's a no-brainer. I mean, why do we want to keep doing this? Why do we want to smoke when we know it causes cancer? Why do we want to keep glyphosate in our body when we know it causes cancer? And that and the cancer is the big C, right? But there's so many others. It's linked to Alzheimer's, autism, digestive problems, leaky gut is just one of them. And if you're dealing with any of these autoimmune deficiencies, 
we got to go to our gut. And I think a lot of you might know this, but so many people don't know. I ask in every group of people that I'm around, who knows about glyphosate? And usually it's about 20% of people that have even heard of it. So we need to wake up. Hey, Ray, Amy Raven, good to see you here. Not sure what you know about glyphosate, would love to know. And I really want to encourage you all to consider getting in touch with me if you want to learn more about this and you want to help to clear this out of your system. I'd love to turn you on to Biomedic. I'd love you to read the book, The Prime. I'd love you to be part of the solution to this problem. Okay, super important so we can really build our gut, have a clearer mind, and be a part of the solution to a happy, healthy environment. So important, right? So gut health is our complete is a big part of our complete health system. And I appreciate you listening today. And I hope this just inspires you to learn more. So I'll put the list of the resources that I talked about today. And please get in touch with me personally if you want to know about getting on Biomedic to get your body, get those glyphosates out of your body and feel better. Oh my gosh, so many people have an immediate response in their digestive system and really can feel the difference, right? And start eliminating if you have any problem with elimination. This is what you want. There's other aspects and there's other practices we can involve you in that will help. So do not suffer needlessly. We have solutions and we want to be part of the solution. So the less we invest, if we can stop investing in the chemicals and start investing in healthy products and foods, then we can help make the world a better place. So thank you for being here today. And again, please send your questions and get in touch and let, let's work together to live vibrant, healthy lives. This is Nancy Ruby with Wellness Wednesday and Yoga Motion Wellness Academy. We are here to make the world a better place. Namaste.